Hi everyone, it's Donna Stellhorn, your practical astrologer, here to talk to you today about the tarot. And that is, I want to give you a heads up of what 2023 has to offer you, but using the tarot. And that is because I am also announcing my new tarot course is available. And so I wanted to show you a little bit about how I read the tarot and specifically give you information for 2023. Okay, this reading is for the sign of Cancer for 2023, and your first card is the Six of Pentacles. Now, this is the general energy, and this is a really interesting card. It's quite complex, and so what this is about is there is this person who has means, who has gone out into the world to give, to give of themselves, to make a charitable contribution. And this is something they have done very carefully. We can see they're holding a set of scales, and so they are measuring different things. And so, so this is you, and this is you looking at where you're putting your energy and where you're putting your focus and doing that very carefully this year. That is that you know, how much time should you be spending on family versus friends? How much time on friends versus colleagues? How much time should you be spending on your hobbies versus work versus exercise, etc.? So you're weighing out the different practical aspects of your life. This is also that while you have the abundance here, because there's all these coins floating over your head, there is a world of need out there. And so you have to be judicious about deciding who and what you're going to give to. And so you cannot give yourself so much that you deplete yourself because if you do, then you end up as the beggar and you don't want to do that. So here you are and the universe is providing you with so many opportunities and we'll talk about money when we get to that card. So, but right now this is about the other resources that you have, which is your time, your energy, your skills, your compassion, all of this. And you need to look and weigh out what you're giving this year to various projects. What are your priorities? You know, where the need is and, but also to retain enough for yourself so that you remain healthy, vibrant, and abundant. When we look at love for you, we had a great card. It's temperance, and temperance is a very healing card. I love the fact that this card comes up for you for love because it says that love relationships and, and general relationships for you are going to be very healing and very beneficial for you. Now, notice in this card that the angel is pouring the liquid from one cup to another, and so the the liquids are mixing. So this is very much about being with someone where there's flow, where there's an energy of getting together, of blending the energies between the two of you, of finding common ground, and, and coming to a place where because you're blending these energies, it becomes better. And we see this also, too, in the balance of this angel this angel is standing both in the water and on land. So this is having some parts of your relationships based in the emotion, the feeling, the compassion, the empathy, but some in the practical, you know, like who's going to empty the dishwasher? Uh, you know, who's going to get the kids off to school, etc. This is an excellent card for meeting new love also, but meeting somebody that you feel you have known before where there's a real strong connection between you. So excellent card for love relationships for you for 2023. Now, when it comes to your card for money, we get the hermit reversed. So the reversed energy we'll talk about in a second. Let's start with the hermit. Now, this is another major arcana. So you got two major arcana. So this is a very significant area, just like love is for you. That means you're making lots of breakthroughs. You're really moving forward. That's fantastic. But because the hermit is upside down, you're not moving forward as quickly as you were in the love department. This says that in the beginning, the first couple of months, there may be some delays where you are going back to work on something from the past. Now, the hermit is really interesting because the hermit has struck out on his own and moved away from convention or away from society. 
So this might mean that you're going out into your own business or that you're leaving your current company to go work for uh, someone who you know, is in a different industry even, but certainly working for a different company. This also says you're a leader. So because the hermit shines the light and people come to the hermit. And so that is that you are growing into this leadership role. So if you are staying at your current company, you're not staying in your current position. You are going to take something that is a leadership role that uh, other people are looking up to you about. But there is this sense that you know, you are doing things your way, very much so. The hermit has their own philosophy. And so if you don't have this idea of what your goals are with your job, that's what you need to work on over the first couple of months when this card is still upside down. That is, what are your priorities when it comes to your career? And if you have an idea of what you want to do, then breaking it down into the smaller steps to get started that's what you need to do in 2023. Learning to read the tarot is a great skill to have. With this course, you would learn how to give accurate readings, make better decisions, and to create a business that helps others. This course has more than 100 videos that teaches you how to enter the card itself and really feel that information, to really be part of what's going on so you don't have to memorize a book. This course is currently at a very low introductory price, but it won't stay at that price for very long. Check out the link in the description to get more information.